Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I brought with me a Sports 2 line of nowhere tents, so let's get started right away. The two lines of the Nowhere tents I have with me today are the Nowhere Velvet and Shine from Espoir, both which set to create soft, moist, shiny lips. The lipsticks from both lines come in a pinkish shiny case with the same Espoir logo engraved on each of them. When looking at the lipstick, I can see that the lipsticks from the Velvet and Shine line are shaped differently. The Velvet lipstick seems to be soft in texture and has a slightly curved shape like the usual lipstick. It also has Espoir engraved on the front of the lipstick as well. On the other hand, the Shine lipstick seems to have a smooth-looking texture, has an angular shape without curvature, and is without the Espoir engraving. Velvet is said to keep lips free and comfortable even after makeup by using their light and comfortable seamless technology. It's said to be a lipstick that's soft on the outside and moist on the inside, being both moisturizing and lasting at once. The synergy of the high-density micro-pigment and low-viscosity oil is said to enhance the adhesion and make the colors even more vivid. Shine is said to be a combination of a high viscosity paste and a low viscosity oil to lightly adhere to the lips without being sticky. It's said that the Ultra Shine formula made of high gloss raw materials creates clear, transparent, and shiny glassy lips. It's said that the tin ingredient creates a natural staining effect and improves the lasting power, which is one of the biggest disadvantages of glossy lipstick, but I personally didn't find staining to be strong. When testing the smearing of both Velvet and Shine lipsticks, Velvet actually smeared a bit, so it feels like lip line area is dark. Like a lip balm, Shine continued leaving my lips feeling moist. When testing to see how much gets transferred onto a cup, Velvet does transfer a bit but not that much. Shine on the other hand transfers much more than Velvet. Although the formulation is different since both of these two lines have a light application, the color seems to get darker the more I apply it on. Applying both the Velvet and Shine lipsticks onto my arm, I find that they're generally good LLBB tones for daily use, but I think the colors of the Velvet lipsticks are a bit brighter and more vivid. At first, I thought I wouldn't be able to see the color of these lipsticks through the case, but it so happens that the top of the lid is actually transparent, so I was able to easily check out the color by looking at the top of the lid. So now, let's take a look at a swatch of the Velvet lipstick first. BR904 Beguiling Nude is said to be a soft and warm peach beige color which is recommended for warm tones. PK010 Chai Pink is said to be a calm and clean nudie pink color which is recommended for cool tones. PK011B Berry is said to be a bluish plum pink color which is the best color for cool tones. RD206 Merry Red is said to be a tomato red color that lights up like a fluorescent light on the face and is recommended for warm tones. OR408 Orange Grove is said to be a chilly orange color with a drop of brown, which is recommended for warm tones. CR506 Coraline is said to be a lively pink coral, mute coral color, which is the best color for warm tones. Next for the swatch of Nowhere Shine Lipsticks. PK001 Peach Melba is said to be a nudie peach color with an innocent charm that goes well with both warm and cool tones. PK002 Tickled Pink is said to be a bright and light pink color which is recommended for cool tones. RS101 Hug Me Fig is said to be a rose MLBB color like a well-dried fig which is the best color for cool tones. OR401 Apricot Brandy is said to be an apricot MLBB color like a well-dried apricot, which is the best color for warm tones. OR402 Bare Mandarin is said to be a refreshing and clear coral orange color, which is recommended for warm tones. Espoir also provided some tips for the use of both Velvet and Shine lipsticks, so I'll finish the video by telling what these tips are and some color combinations. First of all, they provided some tips on applying cool tone colors to those warm tones from Velvet line. By applying the Warm Tone Beguiling Nude on as a base, you can then apply the Cool Tone Bee Berry on the inside of the lips for a nice warm cool color combination that'll suit those with warm tones. And in the case of Shine lipstick, if you want to make it more moist and long-lasting, it's said that by applying them on twice, thinly, followed up by pressing your lips onto a piece of tissue after it has been absorbed, you can enjoy the soft and beautiful color for a long time. And now let me show you some color combinations. First, for a warm tone combination. For a velvet combination, orange grove as a base, and merry red as a point. 
for a velvet and shine combination, beguiling nude as a base, and bare mandarin as a point. Next is the cool tone combination. For a velvet combination, chai pink as a base and bee berry as a point. For a velvet and shine combination, chai pink as a base and tickled pink as a point. I find it great with how these two lines work well with each other, allowing us to enjoy the soft velvet and shiny lips at the same time. I hope you find my color recommendations for warm and cool tones to be helpful, especially for those who are worried about which color suits either warm or cool tones. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.